So I'm here with my buddy Stanley W. Morris. Morris. And we got the oranges. We got the last two oranges. And we are going to show you what are you looking for? What features are you looking for in an orange? You can eat the whole orange, the entire orange, raw orange, with the peel. How many people you know that have ever eaten an orange with the actual peel, which is flooded with super nutrients? That's the real super fruit of the orange. The orange has all this good vitamin C. The orange peel is even healthier. You can make orange peel tea with it. This dude eats the entire orange. I'm gonna daringly take one for the team. I'm gonna eat the entire orange too. But first, let's find out what are the features, Stanley, that we want in our uh, in our oranges. What are you looking for there? Okay, Frank. Uh, I'm gonna dip my hand in here. I've already pre-washed hand and pre-washed oranges, and pull out the first specimen. What were you looking for? Why this? Why does this orange? Not every orange works to eat it. To eat the whole thing, then. I'm going to uh, use my fingers, if that's okay with you. Okay. To I can say I wash my hands, and to demonstrate, I think it'll be a little easier if I don't have a napkin wrapped around it. You're you're looking for an orange that is a plump-looking peel. Now that means it means a lot of dimples. You want a lot of dimples, and you want the creases. You want to visualize a thickness to the peel. The thicker, the juicier, sweeter this peel is going to taste. The thinner, the less dimpled, it's not going to taste so good. But it is, they are edible at any, uh, any of those ranges. So the navel is not real important, but if you see a nice big navel on an orange, that usually indicates a little sweeter taste and the navel as well can be eaten. So the entire orange will be eaten other than this little woody stem portion that usually you pick out. I have eaten those uh, as an experiment, but they're not as tasty as the, okay. the peel themselves. Okay. And, and why did you start this practice? Because I don't know anyone else that eats the entire orange. I'm, I'm, I'm trusting you, you're, you're the one leading me here. Why, what got you started eating the entire orange? Well, this was an old practice. Uh, as, as a child, my grandmother would peel the oranges and take the peelings and lay them on a, a stove um, and let them kind of heat up a little bit, almost almost cooked to a, almost cooked. And then she would take them off um, and let them, let us eat them. And they were very, very good. They, they, the, the cooking kind of brought out maybe more of the sweetness and they were kind of toasted. And I don't, that is, I think, where it all started. Ever since then, I, I got the idea, well, why toast them? I'll just skip that process. It was yeah. a lot easier to just start eating them. Uh, originally, I was peeling them and eating the peels. Uh, and sometimes, if I felt full, I would even give the orange away. But the peels uh, were, were really the part that I wanted. Had the most nutrients and actually had more of a taste. Um, not, not sweet as, as the flesh of the orange, but still there was enough sweetness and other taste that attracted me. Now, let's do the, let's do it. Let, let's get in here and let's eat. Are you ready to eat Eat one of these now? I'm gonna give you your orange. You're gonna give me the orange. pre-washed fingers. Okay. pre-washed orange. And then, uh, here's my orange. I'm going to, uh, I'll give you a napkin that may get okay. a little juicy. Now, okay. I want to, I want to uh, say that this can be done without, with very little juice uh, dripping down your arm. Okay. Um, I do it all the time, but occasionally you're going to get some juice out of these things. It's okay. nice to have a napkin. I'm not afraid. I, I've got the jiu-jitsu, the wrestling background. I'm not afraid to get, not afraid to get dirty, gritty, grindy. I'm not afraid to take one for the team. Um, okay, so mark, set, go. What, what are we? Uh... What we do is we, we start at the very top of the woody, where the woody stem was. Right. That's where you want to. Because there's an art to eating. If you don't eat it uh, from the top down, you will uh, end up with juice dripping down uh, your arm. Okay. And, and probably on your shoes too. Pro, that's pro tip. Pro tip. Um, so you just. So you're actually going to eat that part. You're going to start eat right in with the first that's bite it. of a peel. I'm not even. I'm going to eat the orange as well as the peel as we go along. 
This planet so blasts you, oh, to the flame. You, you, ate, you didn't eat the peel. You ate right as close as you could to the peel. I'm, I'm going to eat. I ate the peel. Okay, I'm ready. I'm chewing the peel. If I, if you want, go ahead and bite right into the orange because that's what I'm eating. All right. Do. And the idea is that you're taking peel and orange simultaneously to bring the flavors out even even richer. Also, kind of kind of dumbs down the strong taste of the peel. Obviously, I'll be little, honest. Now, I thought it was going to taste better than it, <laughs> than it does. Really? Well, you have to develop a taste for these things to drink. Hold on. This is not um, something I'm that I'm you hoping. do on the first time. This, this is, uh, there's like other things that people do that it takes a few times to yeah. um, acclimate. I, I, but I'm telling you, after a week of eating these... I'm orders, hoping that bite number two tastes a lot better. <laughs> Okay, let's try the bite. I'm hoping I acquire, I acquire a taste. Well, it, it's going to taste fine. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. I'm really. hoping I acquire within the next 20 seconds a taste <laughs> for the no. entire orange. Don't push it. That Just first it bite was. No, it, it wasn't. It, it's not like it's disgusting. It just. It just. Mm. It disappointed mm. me. I had. I, I had high expectations. No, and uh, hold on. Let me. I'm going to bite two here. I'm going to see. Maybe I just need a little more oh, orange. Yeah, I, I might have got more peel than orange. Let me see. Okay, you got to have the orange mixed in there. Right. And keep it at the top. Keep, mm. round, keep rounding the top. Otherwise, you're going to have the juice dripping down your mm. arm. That second bite was better. Was better? Okay. Not delicious. Now, these are not, not really good. These are not the best but it was better. oranges for peels. Um, you know, this time of the year, this season, it's a little hard. In, in fact, as you as you know, we went into Smith's here yep. and found that the bin where I got these oranges yep. was totally empty. I have probably the last. Yeah, that, that, that's a good point that that Stanley's making is that, like right now, the grapefruits it's not that it's not a good season for the grapefruits. The oranges have been like the lemons are not really plumping in season. So, giving it the benefit of the doubt, it's not like we're eating these lush, incredible, right off the vine oranges. We're not. Absolutely. Um, so how how's my okay, next now, bite going? Keep 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 in the top. Stay of the in the orange. top. Don't go down. The okay. Side, so okay. So I top. defied it. You don't want to go. You don't want to do that. You want to stay at the top like Stanley's mm. apple. Did you hear that? That's it. That's it. You you get a little you suck a little juice out of there. At the same time you bite. Okay. Gotcha. We're staying in top top of the orange. That's it. Okay. You need a little practice, but you're coming. You're coming along. You get better. Well. Doing very well. It's getting a little better. Okay. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you it's delicious. I'm not telling you it's like super but enjoyable. You can imagine the but the good news is this is super healthy. This is, oh. this is, this is super healthy. This is a legit superfood. Well, the, if the, you the can tough out nutrients that we are getting from from just this yeah. this bite air it, it is enormous. Yeah, and I've always been a fan. I've always been a fan of the real vitamin C, not vitamin C supplements, which are the ascorbic acid, which is a fraction of the molecular structure of real orange. So you're not, you know, you get most most of the orange juice in the grocery stores. That's been put to sleep for months and months and months. It's got sugar added, weak vitamin C. This is when you get the orange, you're getting the real, you're getting the full thrust of vitamin C, which is of course, phenomenal for immune health, among other things. Okay, we're gonna proceed down along around from the top. You notice no no drips yet. Um, yeah, that's a pro. You're keeping them. It's keeping it cupped into the top of the orange. That's the idea. So how long does it take you to eat one of these? I, I haven't timed myself. But it's like 10 I would, minutes, 15 minutes? I would give 15 minutes. So okay. Give it at least 15 minutes. So you can, so you just so you can savor the orange. Yeah. And, and when do you normally do these? When do you like to eat them? Well, I, I don't buy oranges uh, every week, but every couple of weeks or so, I'll buy a bag of oranges and uh, I'll have them with my morning breakfast. So this is finishes off my morning breakfast. Um, 
I gotta say. This is the second orange today mm. that I've done this with uh, because I had one with breakfast, as I, as I mentioned. And you gotta pardon me. I got a lot of stuff in my teeth here because I'm doing this. But I, I gotta say, I think Stanley is, I think he's tougher than me. I thought I was tougher than him. I think he's officially tougher than me uh, handling this. You know, like this is definitely. This you're is a coming along, this, you're coming this, along well. This is acquired. This well. is an acquired taste. This is a this is a toughness. I'm I'm just open minded. I hadn't like me and Stanley are talking and he's telling me he eats the whole orange. I'm like, I wanna see that. So here we are with that um, with that video. I'm gonna we eat We should point out this this may be a cure for election hangovers. Uh, this being election day. The, the, a, a lot of vitamin C, I'm sure, is going to be helpful for, for any uh, after effects tomorrow morning. Yeah, I was telling Stanley before we daringly did this, I'm like, everybody else, it's election day, is worried about the fate of the free world, and Stanley and I are out trying to find the best oranges to eat raw. And clearly, we have, clearly, we have our priorities straight, right? Really big things to worry about. I I have to agree with you, Frank. Yeah. Okay. Well, get out there. You hit, watch the video again. Let us know what you think. Give it a shot. Um, I'm gonna be honest, Stanley. For my taste buds, I don't know. I mean, I might do this in. in I don't know. I guess there's a situation where speed is important. You know, get do something really quick. Um, maybe I break my hand or something, or maybe I just feel like, man, I want, I want. You can make orange peel tea too, which is pretty healthy. Maybe I just want to live daringly, and I'm like, I want the maximum. I want all of the orange. I want the super nutritious peel of the orange too. And in that case, um, step up again. So, Stanley, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. We learned a lot today, bud. You're welcome, Frank.